this video I will show you a simple cookie recipe that you can enjoy this holiday season with your baby who is now learning to eat solid food. Hi, I'm Vesta and welcome to You and Me Equals 3. On this channel, I help you as a first time mom create healthy meal ideas that you can enjoy with your baby who is now learning to eat solid food. So if this sounds interesting to you and you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Also, everything mentioned in this video will be listed in the description box below. So with that being said, let's get straight into the recipe. Okay, to begin, we have a whole wheat flour and this has been sifted. We have our butter, which is at room temperature and please use a good quality butter because that is very important. We have some powdered sugar and then we have condensed milk. We have vanilla extra and then some extra flour that we are going to use to, surf, um, to um, put on our surface while we roll the cookies. And then last but not the least, we have a whisk and you do not need a hand mixer or any kind of mixer for this recipe. Just a whisk or a wooden spoon will be fine. We are going to start now by whisking our butter a little bit. So we'll just move these things aside. So that was my daughter that showed the ingredients before. She helps me while I do my videos and she wanted to be a part of it. Show her hands a little bit. So this is our butter. We are just going to whisk it like this. And then we add the sh powdered sugar. Good workout for your hands. If you have big arms like me. Okay, it's coming together and you want to whisk this quite long enough until the sugar is kind of melted in the butter because if not, the cookies will spread out too much while you're baking them. Oh, we forgot one thing. One ingredient that I forgot to mention and how could I have done that is one egg yolk so I had it prepared already sitting back here but I forgot to show it okay now this is combined enough we add the egg yolk whisk 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 This is a very, very simple cookie. And what makes it great that your baby can also eat is a baby from six months and above is that we use whole wheat flour instead of your normal white flour. And there's less sugar in this. You can even reduce this sugar if you want, you can just do 50 grams, but the 60, it's fine. It's not too sweet. And another thing that I forgot to mention is make sure you stay all the way till the end of the video because towards the end, I will share with you my two favorite ways that I serve this cookie. Sorry. My two favorite favorite ways that I serve the cookie. If you are giving your six month old, your seven, your eight, your ten month old, then I can tell you that he or she will enjoy it the way that I will show you. So stay till the end. Now we have these mixed. 
I'm going to add the vanilla extract. Also stir that in and we are almost done. See how easy this is? It doesn't even take 10 minutes to do this, to whisk the dough together. You just have to switch arms a few times. And that's it. Now we are going to add the flour, okay? You just gradually stir it in a bit. Okay, add the rest. I love this hand, hand whisk. Because it's kind of heavy, but it combines the ingredients really quick. Whew, my arms are tired. But it's all worth it because this is a very good cookie and for the moms those that have sweet tooth you can just do melt some chocolate and then dip the sides of the cookie into the chocolate and you have a more sweeter cookie and with this whole pandemic going on if you're like me, you don't really, it's like, I don't know how to celebrate Christmas this year. Normally I would have bought my presents for my children already, but this year I haven't. It's like, it's, I feel like it's going to be so boring and just unusual celebrating Christmas with no friends, with no family, just your, you and your immediate family, those that live together, I think is going to be a little boring. So I don't feel like my usual making of 10 different cookies this year. And this is great because like I said, I can have it and children can have it. The baby can have it. Now, this has turned into a ball of dough and you just put it in a plastic wrap like that. And we are going to chill this for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, we will roll the dough and start cutting. So just form. Put it into a form like that to make rolling easy when it comes out of the fridge. So we'll show you. So while we were wrapping our dough to put in the fridge, our battery died. This is the dough chilled and we are going to roll it. So we put a little bit of flour on a surface that won't stick and I'm using the same kind of the same flour that I used. If you find that the dough is too hard, just wait a little bit, let it sit to come to room temperature and then you can roll again. So now we are rolling our cookie dough. and. It's almost thin enough. And because we are using wheat flour, when you are rolling, you will find that it breaks a lot and it doesn't really stay together very well as when you use normal flour. But don't worry about it. You can always gather them together and roll it again. Mommy, mom, it's not dirty. 
Hmm? Georgie is bra brav. Pavone is not Georgie brav. Oh, well. Okay, now we are going to start cutting. My son Jeffrey is going to help out. Georgie is already helping out, holding the camera. Okay, Jeffrey, so you put it on. Put it here. Okay, and then, can you see Jeffrey's hands? And then press it, okay? And then, look, you take it out. And there you have it. Do the next one, and I will be cutting this. Okay, do the next one. Do it. Okay, oops, I pressed it too hard. Ooh, I pressed it too hard. Mommy didn't do it well. Okay, now mommy do it right. Press on it. Okay. Guys, see, my Georgia showed me how to use these cookie cutters. Oh, it fell apart. No, it fell apart. Okay, we'll put it aside. Okay, Jeffrey, keep doing it. Georgie wants to come and try. Okay, go. Go and cut it. Hmm? Hmm? There. Jeffy, der geht schwer. Bitte benutzt du nur das, weil der ist ganz einfach. Okay, mm -hmm. nicht immer nur in der... Druckst du fest? Oh, Georgie did it. Good job. Jeffy, keep going. You're doing a good job too. Fest da drauf drucken. Mm -hmm. So now we have cut the la the first badge of our cookies. It looks like this. We just use this mushroom. Um, style cutter and then this flour cutter this isn't the best it sticks a lot but whatever we were able to get some forms out of it and we are going to put this in the fridge for another 30 minutes before we start baking and this dough has already gotten too soft so we are going to put it in the fridge as well and we will when that is chilled we will roll that and cut them also we'll show you the end results when it's all done so these are the cookies. We took them out of the fridge after we did cut them and now we are going to put it in our oven which is already preheating. So we will show you the end results when it's all done. So here you have it. Our cookies are done and for the seven options you can add it to homemade raspberry or strawberry puree. You can add it to applesauce or apple puree. You can also add it to milk. You just make it into a powdered form and add it to the milk thank you so much for watching as you can tell i did find some old cookie cutters of mine and that is where i got the motif from the bodysuit and the feeding bottle i hope you find this video helpful we had so much fun creating it and if you haven't subscribed to our channel make sure to subscribe and give us a like and we will see you in our next video thank you and stay safe bye